Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Simon from BizLearn. Hi, and welcome to a new video concerning what's new Siemens NX 1926, which was released a few weeks ago. And I have already uploaded a few videos. And guess what? I am going to proceed with the sketcher because there is one enhancement you probably haven't seen before because it's just tiny. It's a tiny improvement, but it helps most of us. But before I show you the possibility of creating relations to external objects, I'm going to talk about horizontal modeling. Horizontal modeling or design algorithms or modeling methods in general is the main focus on my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, by the way, do it because you are going to learn a lot about modeling methods. And if you haven't seen my videos yet about horizontal modeling, I'm just going to give you a little bit of an overview of what horizontal modeling means. In one sentence, it means creating a relation to the possible oldest objects. That's it. Horizontal modeling. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to give you a little horizontal modeling demonstration by creating holes on each corner of this sheet. And I'm going to do it horizontally. And you might ask afterwards, why do I spend so much effort? but I'm going to show you afterwards why I do that. It's going to be a secret until then. First of all, I'm going to make my sketch external. Here it is, because I need to create a reference to this older object. And I'm going to create an offset curve. I now have created a relation to my feature curves. Right click the selection, you can see feature curves, meaning the overall sketch. And I'm going to create a point set related to my offset curve by use of curve points, curve percentage zero. And now I'm able to create holes. It's horizontally modeled. And you might ask yourself now, this is so much effort, could be much more simple. But if I replace one of these curves, like this one by two new curves, you can see there is even no review required. It's updated properly. So there is still one hole on each of my corners. And this is just possible by doing it horizontally, meaning I have a relation to my oldest object, relation to this one, because it's not possible otherwise, and relation to that one. And it's subtracted from the extrude. So this is the possibly oldest referencing method available. For, well, plastic parts or costed parts, however, it makes sometimes sense to work like this if you want your model to be as stable as possible. And I have a few use cases for that. But for a typical sheet, and this is even this is not a typical sheet, as you can see, I'm just going to undo this. It don't make sense to do it. Because just imagine you need to create a relation to only one corner. Usually we are referencing two edges and we have some enhancements within the new sketch which supports us doing our, I would say, vertical modeling, which I'm going to show you now. I'm therefore going to create a new sketch related to this plane and create a circle related to my upper right corner. How can I create a relation? Of course, I need to select my edges. It's not possible because my filter is set with an active sketch. And that's my default setting. There is a setting within the customer defaults, which I am preferring, of course, because I want to avoid mistakes, however. So how can I create a relation now? There is no dimension dialog or something. The secret is called include. It seems to be a new command. It is a new command, but the you will see after I've applied this, I can select one or two curves, however, and after applying this, you can see those curves are projected into my sketch. As usual, in the former NX versions, if we have created a relation to an external object, we receive these dashed lines. That's what you have here. But as you can see now, the difference is you can select this and double click it and reorder this. This is pretty cool. And let's see what happens if we create a relation. Like, for example, a tangent relation. Let's see what's going to happen if I replace one of these. Just by double-clicking, select something else. There's only one reference possible. You can see the tangent constraints is maintained. If I select my curve, you can see it's still maintained. And that's an enhancement. That's an improvement compared to before. First of all, the first improvement is that we can leave this with an active sketch filter enabled without modifying it 
and just use include to really make sure we have the proper external object selected for our reference. And of course, it is a vertical relation because we have relation to the possible newest instead of the possible oldest object. But I think it's okay as we're able to do these modifications so simple. Let's see what happens to our dimensions next. So I'm just going to go back a few steps and create dimensions instead. And of course, if I double click and reorder, you can see also dimensions are maintained. So this is pretty cool enhancement. Modifications of vertical relations are so simple. If you have a look at this drop down, you can see project curves. So it seems to be no different to project curve, but there is a big difference. We don't have a selection rule because we are always referencing to one single object, which is unique, which is cool. And if you need to create a reference to an overall object, like for example, an overall sketch, you should always prefer using project curve and using the feature curves selection rule, because it might make sense to do that to be more stable. However, if a relation is going to break, I'm going to show you, I'm just going to do modification within my first sketch. Uh, you can see there is an alert, of course a warning um, because of a broken reference. Let's have a look inside. This is pretty cool because Siemens automatically replaced one curve which was missing by a completely new curve, which is very, very intelligent. So this is some kind of artificial intelligence I personally haven't expected. Of course, the dimension is deleted because it is now a tangent relation of my, my dimension line, which is different, of course. And I could have tried this with a tangent constraint. I haven't yet. I think it's going to break because it's an arc instead of a line. If you replace a line by a line, it might maintain. But however, this is a big improvement. And let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm really looking forward to your comments below. What do you think about this improvement? Maybe you have seen it before. I personally haven't seen it before. That's it for today. I hope you liked the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I recommend you to do. I'm going to show a few more things about the new version. But of course, I'm also going to proceed my tutorials about horizontal modeling as well. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.